Hello everybody, it's Obstetric and Gynecology Made Easy. Today we are gonna talk about cardinal movements of the fetus during the normal labor. Cardinal movement of the fetus during the normal labor. Mnemonic in three words. End fire red. End. EN for engagement. D for descent. Fire. F for flexion, IR for internal rotation, E for extension, red, R for resituation, E for external rotation, and D for delivery of shoulders. Engagement. Engagement happened when the vibrational diameter passes through the pelvic brain, known by history of lightning and shelving, abdominal examination, as in this picture. To describe the amount of head above the prime is to identify the number of fifths palpable. But when the head is engaged, two fifths or less will be felt abdominally. In this picture, two-fifths head is palpable. This means that the head is engaged. In this picture, head zero-fifths palpable. This means that the head is fully engaged. Engagement known also by BV, as in this picture. When the vertex is at or below the level of ischial spine. Large cabot may give false impression of lower station. In this case, engagement did not occur yet. Descent. It occurred throughout the second stage of labor due to uterine contractions, which is the mere force bearing down of the mother and unfolding of the fetus by the action of uterine circular muscles bonded. Most of the descent occurs near head delivery, deceleration phase. This phase, deceleration phase, typically occurs when the cervix is dilated from about 8 to 10 centimeters. During the deceleration phase, the head typically moves from a higher station to a lower station such as plus one or plus increased flexion to bring first the occiput to the pelvic floor this allow accommodation of the oval head in the anterior posterior oval outlet mechanism we have two series liver theory the head act as a liver, fulcrum at atlanto-axial joint. Short arm from this joint to the occiput, and long arm is to the sense spot. When head head meet levator in eye resistance during descent. The force applied to the long arm is more than from that on short arm, leading to ascend of sensibot and descend of occiput. The second theory is accommodation theory. To allow the shortest diameter of head sub occipital pragmatic 9.5 cm to pass through the pelvis. Internal rotation. After flexion, as the head descends, it encounters resistance from the pelvic floor muscles and the shape of pelvic cavity. It will go into internal rotation, move from its original position anterior to the symphysis pubis 
180 circle about 45 degree to be direct occipital anterior series the direction of levator in eye muscles which is downward forward and medially the importance of levator in eye is evident in multibara with weak muscles where rotation is usually delayed the referring effect of the bony pelvis the longer diameter of the inlet is transverse while the longer diameter of the outlet is longitudinal the middle part of the pelvis where the rotation occurs has a more circular shape the head is going under effect called screw screw like effect on the fetus head extension the head descends till the suboccipital region hinges below symphysis pubis followed by extension with birth of the head the steps of extension are anterior posterior slit when the head starts to separate the labia oval opening when there is definite oval part of the head apparent through the vulva circular shape when the whole vertex appears from the vulva crowning when the bibarital diameter pass the vulva ring crowning is by suboccipital frontal 10 cm then the extension happened restitution the head will rotate one eighth of circle in an opposite direction to untwist the neck external rotation it's a rotation of head another one eighth circle in the same direction on of restitution following the rotation of the shoulders in pelvis. This is because the shoulders enters the pelvis in the opposite oblique diameter with anterior internal rotation one eighth of a circle which combined by external rotation of the head. Delivery of the shoulders. The bisacromial diameter enters the pelvis in the opposite oblique diameter of the head when the anterior shoulders meet the pelvic floor it rotates one eighth circle to occupy the anterior posterior diameter of the outlet the anterior shoulder then hinge below the symphysis pubis then the posterior shoulder is delivered by lateral flexion of the spines the rest of body comes out without difficulty. I hope this helps. Please don't forget to like and share.